the, the other topic that we have here is the ref versus Cassius March. Um, not, at this point, I feel like you've probably seen the uh, you you've seen the video of the of the ref hip checking Cassius March uh, during Sunday's game. A few minutes later, Cassius March had a, a big sack on on Big Ben, big sack on Big Ben. Um, with a this was on a huge third down in the third in the fourth quarter, with only about three minutes and thirty seconds left on the clock. Um, so this could this was potentially a, a, a you know a momentum changing. Um, play for the Bears, and nothing came of it because Cassius was called for a taunting foul after a dope-looking spin kick that he did out uh, to, to celebrate that sack. Um, obviously, Bears fans are angry, saying that the refs cost them the game because they were only down three three at that point. Um, but as an impartial viewer, Jen, I want to come to you here. How do you feel about this call? Do you feel like it, this this call was like blew the game for the? For the Bears, and was this a fair call to make? Oh, it was a complete bullshit call. Um, it just seemed like the ref wanted, you know, he wanted to show everybody what kind of power that he had. I mean, essentially cost the Bears the game, um, you know, because of, because of that. Um, you know, it just seems like the refs are just kind of doing whatever they want. And, you know, especially after, you know, Mike Tomlin came out and say, it is what it is. That's how the refs are. He's on the fucking committee for these kind of calls and shit like that. Obviously, he knows exactly what's going on. And, you know, it's just, to be fair, like, congratulations on the geniusness of even talking of this through because you sneaked out of there with a win. But, you know, it just seems like these refs are just getting out of hand. Um way too much and this whole taunting call is it's bullshit i mean like yeah i understand and you know if you if you you know throw up like throw up the middle finger like aj hawk <clears throat> you know obviously taunting of course that that is you know especially if it's televised you know on, on tv and stuff like that um but you're essentially it's almost you know it almost seems like the refs have money on these games um you know that that they, you know, wanted to blow these these calls so that, you know, they can give a certain people amount of edge. I know that's going to a conspiracy theorist, um, but it just seems Sound like... like Aaron Rodgers there, big guy. Yeah, because I've been drinking that uh, Big Joe juice. Um, You're a flat earther too? Oh, yeah, totally. A thousand percent. You know, only when I drive around the curves. Um, yeah, but no, it just seems like, you know, the refs... The, the, all the good refs are out of the game and you know obviously there's some adaptation time with the new refs but you know it just seems like they're going more towards you know like just overall destroying the reputations of the referees uh, in general for all sports they're they're like baseball refs now except you know they don't have the option to throw any player or, or coach uh, you know within a second brandon um, how about you? How do you how, how do you feel about this call? Do you feel like the refs in the were in the kind of right position to, to make this call? I watched this replay over so many times, trying to find like a oh maybe the ref had something. I can't find it. It's impossible. If somebody can find it, comment. Let me know because I didn't understand. Um, it's a load of BS. Basically, he does the spin kick after a sack, not in any general direction, towards the end zone, so that didn't matter. Sweet spin kick, by the way. Probably one of the cooler sack celebrations I've ever seen. Um, and then he went over and stared at the bench for a couple seconds. It's not like he ran over there and flipped them off or ran over there and was talking shit. He literally stared them down for, like, maybe five seconds. Like, look, I just sacked your all-star. Good. He should. He just made the kind of play where he should be able to do that. I don't think that's overboard. On top of which, if it was taunting, the penalty flag should have been thrown at that point. Right there, after the actual penalty occurred. Um, instead, as he's running around the ref to get back to his bench, the ref weirdly bumps into him. It looks like a hip check. It's the most awkward movement I've ever seen. He like scoots back into him uh, and then stares him down and throws the flag. Like, he's watching him the whole time. You know how easy it would have been for the ref not to move? And then Cassius Marsh doesn't hit the ref? 
because the ref was watching Cassius Marsh. And then he threw the flag after he bumped into him. So there was like a two to three second period there where like you could have thrown the flag at any point, but you stared him down, bumped into him, and then threw the flag up and kept staring him down. Like that was uh, the ref taunting Cassius Marsh is what that was. Um, so I don't think he took it too far, like staring him down. Sure. Whatever. Cool. Um, uh, it's not like he was doing anything belligerent or, you know, making any, any smug comments, flipping the bird, anything like that it was literally staring at someone a big deal. Um, the whole situation was just strange and I don't know what's going down, but, uh, Tony Carrenti and the head of officiating for the NFL had a chance to address the event and just said, refs are human. What are you going to do? Um, which I don't know what that means because players are also human. But when players make a mistake, they potentially cost their team and themselves money. Um, they could, When a player makes a mistake, they could potentially get a penalty for yardage. They could get fined themselves. The organization could get fined. Um, and there's actual penalties happening, albeit they're small slaps on the wrist. There's still something. In the case of a ref, they're just like, ah, well, what are you going to do? Um, and then moving on. And this was, I, I think, the most controversial refing incident since the PI in the Rams and Saints game in the championship, um, which coincidentally also had no backlash. So I don't know what the NFL is doing. Every time I look at the NFL addressing any sort of controversy, it's like, okay, how do we protect ourselves? And who can we throw under the bus? Um, and it's obviously them acting in a way that protects their system because the NFL does nothing wrong ever. Um, so that's a really long rant on a really minute taunting call, uh, <laughs> to say it shouldn't have been thrown in the first place. The ref just needed to stand still, which shouldn't have been hard. Um, but he couldn't resist himself and, and wanted to get in his face. So it's a load of bullshit. Yeah, he really just wanted to get his behind on Cassius Marsh there. So, who knows? Potential flirting in the in the making there. The last topic that we have. He's like, he's flirting like Urban Meyer flirts. <laughs> See, I teed that one up for you, Jim. You like it? Yeah, except uh, he's more than two fingers at this point. 